Alright legends, let's do a quick analysis here on Bitcoin here for the community and interact with you guys. I'm going to answer any questions in the comment section, but overall taking a look at Bitcoin. What is going on? What is the highest probability scenario? Are we going to get a leg up here or are we going to have a massive corrective move? Let's analyze the situation here all together. Remember to absolutely destroy that like button guys on your way in much appreciated for your support and i'm going to do a quick over here on bitcoin because yes etf today etf tomorrow uh we are all really kind of i think fed up about about this situation right so Overall, let's analyze the situation here for Bitcoin, where we at currently. Yes, of course, we're going to go with the famous bump and run scenario. Of course, Bitcoin is consolidating here. It hasn't done much. Overall, it has been holding very nicely that previous day value area high. So when we go and take a look here at the previous highs, okay, from yesterday, the previous range, sorry, from yesterday, the previous day value area low has been holding very very nicely today this was actually an acceptable long position one of the main reasons why it's if we do lose this zone and start getting some volume here to the downside it was not going to be looking too good now if we do analyze the situation here and just go with a cleaner chart here let me just get this out of the way we got the bump and run scenario, no doubt, where we do have that movement here to the downside, a big bump phase, quick, really nice recovery. Now a bit of sideways action. My personal um, thought here is that we are probably going to test the $45,000 range, whether it is going to be a successful breakout or a just a test here and a massive failed move to the downs. Okay, move to the upside, and then we're going to get a corrective move don't know but what i do know is you know we have some probability to get all the way up there and that is based on these massive wicks that is based on some very strong bullish cvd divergence we had a huge amount of people selling here at this point and we were creating some very strong bullish cvd divergence you're getting absorbed here you're creating higher lows and here in the yellow, which is Bybit, you're getting a lot of selling pressure, getting absorbed here with this consolidation, getting here this significant move up of over $500. Now, analyzing here the situation, why are we getting squeeze? We, you know, squeeze coming because basically you are here creating higher lows very, very nicely getting respected this trend line from the wick low right there and we can see how we are forming the higher lows so no doubt there is buying pressure with these movements to the downside all right we are maintaining here higher lows now the question is of course will we manage to break through here to the upside or is this just going to roll down as we do have the lower high structure right over here right and the price is just going to fall down here and get a pretty decent corrective move no doubt that in the next 24 to 48 hours potentially we are going to see that movement happening whether that's a big volatile move down or a movement up of course fake outs are also very much possible so this is something that we need to be paying attention to now like i said this was actually a pretty significant level to attempt a long position on today's video update yes we have the point of control from december that has been ranging up and down not being much of a level here locally more importantly there was that previous day valley area low if we were to lose yesterday's low range it was going to be looking quite ugly in my opinion we do have a big gap here that we could be just filling all of these lows right over here and get a significant drop so all this small little consolidation forming those bullish cvd divergions was making me thinking you know that hey come on we are holding pretty nicely this previous day value area low we are maintaining higher low support where there is a possibility that we could go here to higher levels in the next coming hours right i'm not saying that we're going to go to forty six thousand dollars you know by the next coming hours 
but overall getting a bit of an uptrend here to continue here the higher lows um, this is why I did get actually into a long position right over here at the 43,300 range um, based on this consolidation recovery SFP on some exchanges uh, here at the lows so overall holding very nicely that previous day valley area low and jumped into a long position at that level had attempted here a couple of long positions you know been very defensive got stopped out at break even on one of them uh, this one also is the you know it is already stop loss at break even just to see if we can get that projected move almost hitting forty five thousand dollars it is definitely a possibility guys bybit for me is the number one crypto exchange and actually right now with bybit we do get 20 percent fee cut okay if you register with the link in the description so not only the thirty thousand deposit bonus you get 20 percent fee discount okay because fees can be a little bit punchy we all know that okay seems like bitcoin is getting a bit of a runner right now are the etfs being approved right now there we go we're getting a bit of a rally so there's maybe some i don't think it's news related i wouldn't think it's news related just maybe a pump and dump here just to get to claim those highs we are getting a bit of volatility right now as we speak um there was the window of etfs probably getting approved this is probably just going to be a quick wick up and then down just something similar to this right because this is the thing what's happening right now we're getting those quick wicks down up okay so this could possibly something be something similar to this um as as we you know that there is that volatility there is that confusion of is bitcoin going to go down is it going to go up etfs approved or not or you know not approved so wouldn't be trusting very much dumps and pumps at the current moment as we do have this over here just imagine you know the etf has been approved i would be expecting a little bit of fomo pumping here probably to create some new highs um really do not want to trade this the, you know the, the the kind of volatility that we have you know I'm, I'm a range trader i like trading when there's hardly any volatility that's where i do get into my positions uh, when there's a lot of volatile moves not really too interested so this is probably just going to be a, a pump and dump situation just like we had here a pump and pump uh dump and pump right getting a lot of confusion here with uh, the volatility that we're having during the last uh, few days basically right big wicks to the downside same scenario could be big wicks to the upside and straight back down okay so trade defensively all right trade defensively the uh, volatility from bitcoin right now because you know the deal you can get some large influencers out there or you know basically big news sources that can actually come out and say you know etf approved etf denied and you know you're just getting that bunch of volatility of nonsense right that is not um, helping us it is pumping yeah but like i said look at this you know got a quick big rejection right there quick rejection here on this move uh, and something similar to to this possibly maybe we are going to come back down here to test valley area low there we are we have getting a bit of a, a strong rejection at the moment so it did create a small swing failure pattern you had to you had to be an absolute sniper trader right there because you basically tested these highs and those highs have been tested based on um based on cvd bullish cvd divergence right a little bit of a liquidation event we've had right there uh from over leveraged short positions uh not really a solid nice pump big rejection i mean yes if you do take a look at the one minute candle you can say yeah it's pretty nice volume pretty nice pretty nice pumpy action here on this move um but 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 yeah a lot of a lot of fighting a lot of fighting here a lot of fighting on the lower time frames if you do take a look at the seconds chart there's a lot of buying and a lot of selling so bulls and bears are definitely fighting here in in this range to see if the price is going to actually you know pump all the way up to forty five thousand dollars or get back down here beneath forty three thousand dollars to test the lows 
So right now, as these highs have been tested, quick, this is a scalp trade right there. You test the highs based on bullish CVD divergence, right? As you do create those bullish CVD divergence from this point right there and this point creating the lower lows, your target zone is the highs from the middle of the of the range, right? Which would be this one. So we, that target has been hit and got a quick, quick rejection. It was actually a quick acceptable short position. If I would have been in my trading hour where I'm concentrated, I'm not doing YouTube, I'm not in meetings or doing any of that, it was uh, I would probably get into quickly into that short position at that level. It was definitely a quick acceptable short, set those alerts at those highs for this quick rejection of several hundred dollars. I mean, this was a really nice rejection. You can make some really nice, nice profits if you're scalping with this small little movement, right? You're just testing those highs, bang, quick rejection. The rejection has been of, um, yeah, over $500 in a matter of a few minutes. So nice, quick little scalp if you're really active and, and looking at the possibilities of of short of the trading scenarios, right? So um, guys, do you have um, any news right away? Get lost, you piece of crap, Bitcoin billion. Um, let's get this guy out of the chart, out of the comment section, piece of crap. Um, let's go right away through the comment section. Father Time, how are you doing? Thanks for joining the stream, my man. Um, 30, 300,000 Bitcoin coming. I don't think that is going to happen anytime soon. 30K, you mean? Yes, 30K, I think. 30K to the downside. Um, maybe, maybe we... You know, like I said, we are at a crucial zone right now. And that is basically getting squeezed in between. You know, you got that you're in valley area high point of control of this zone. You are creating higher lows right there on the price action and lower highs right over here, getting squeezed in a bit of a symmetrical triangle right there, as you can see. So overall, bump and run scenario, definitely still a possibility definitely still a, a possibility now the bump and run target is coming all the way to up to the highs which is 46k so um uh we need a mod in here yeah um get lost bitcoin billion he can get out of here get lost um my man good day your thoughts on vra well we can take a look at vra right away nice technical analysis andy thank you very much barodi very much appreciated yeah, if you've got any haters here, you know, you you came to the wrong channel. If you come into hate here, you are on the wrong channel. I will call you out all the all the live stream. No, not all the live stream, but no ETF approval today. Market going down. Um, well, the thing is about you know if the ETF are not going to get approved, we still have another date, right? Will it be on Monday? Will it be on Tuesday? Will they be not? Will they not be approved and they are going to be approved in March? Well, that gives speculation for it to be approved in March, right? So what does that mean? That means that, you know, all of this, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news, right? So buy the rumor, sell the news. If the news hasn't come out yet and it's been declined, well, obviously we are looking for March, okay, for it to be approved potentially. So it means that another couple of months for more buying action, right? It's definitely a possibility. So BTC ETF uh, just have been approved, uh, says Frank Geds. Has it? Has it been approved? ETF coming. My goodness, this whole ETF thing is uh, getting me on my nerves. I think it is on a lot of people, right? So quick pump and dump situation right there. Uh, I don't like this pump and dump. It's probably going to have an attempt to come back down to these lows over here uh, at 43,200, 300 range. Now, I would be very much interested if it does create a kind of a swing failure pattern from these lows. So testing these lows right there with a large wick and getting a recovery can also be a long situation. The same as this, right? You'll short those highs as you've been as they're being tested. You can long also some lows that have been tested as well. So let's just see. I mean, ETF approved. ETF approved. We've got people saying ETF has been approved. What just happened? 
Um, doubling down on my long position ready for 48K. We got a lot of people. I'm gonna ask the community right away with a poll. Are you bullish or are you bearish, okay? So we're gonna get a poll. Are you bullish on Bitcoin? And, you know, basically, this is just to ask if you are bullish for the coming weeks, right? For coming weeks. Let me know right away on the poll, guys. Yes or no. Are you bullish on Bitcoin for the coming weeks? Let's go. I want to know your opinion. Uh, I can't wait till it's over. Yes, Mike, me too. I, you know, approved or not, you know, let's just get it over with. If it is approved, then yes, that will be good for the price long term. No doubt about it. It will be definitely good for the price long term. So, yeah, I'm happy to for I'm happy for it just to happen. Chat GPT answer: As of yearly of January 2024, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, I set to approve the first spot Bitcoin ETF traded fund by January the 10th of 2024. Are you serious? Are you serious? We got someone here saying that you know Chat GPT answer. I'm not sure if this is true or not. But yeah, first spot Bitcoin ETF approved on the 10th of January. We'll see. I've been subscribed to this channel for two years now. Okay, have you enjoyed or not? Hopefully you have. You've learned a lot of technical analysis, good projects. Bullish has revived. Correction must, correction must happen. Correction must happen, yes. Only ETF can make the market bullish. Uh, just in Bitcoin ETF application, clear key hurdle on path to sex sign off Bloomberg reports. Okay. Bullish till ETF get approved after approval bearish. Yeah, this could very much be a sell the news event. Okay. Just imagine when we do take a look at the price action of Bitcoin for, you know, the entire 2023. Now, I can tell you already there was a lot of people buying here. Smart money was actually buying in this range. And if you get one of those hype pumps of Spot Bitcoin ETF to $50,000, you know, that is over 200% rally. And people, smart money, are going to get out, guys. I will very likely be selling a little bit of my Bitcoin on the actual day of the launch because i think with high probability you're going to get like this massive hype candle and then obviously you're you're possibly looking for a big major rejection so i am i am speculating that it's actually going to get a pump and dump situation and I, i actually would be buying a small percentage of my portfolio of course not much but we need to take profits because i've been buying bitcoin all of this range over here and of course, you know, I would not want to hold on into those Bitcoin if we were to get a massive corrective move here down to the low $30,000 without taking some profits here to buy cheaper Bitcoin, right? Maybe it's not going to even hit, you know, $46,000, right? Who knows? The, the, the price action is looking a little bit toppy here. But I would assume yes, as the ETF hasn't been approved yet and it's likely to be approved, at some point in the next, you know, maybe the 10th of January, maybe it's going to be approved in March. You would expect a really hype candle, okay? A big, big candle. And that I think that would be the, a good moment, guys, to actually take some profits. It would actually be a good idea to take some profits, no doubt about it. So um, I use chat GBT for Tinder, says Mark Dutch. What an absolute legend. What an absolute legend. I use chat GBT for, for, um, for Tinder. All right, Andy, check Monero this time, please. Okay, this time we'll check Monero. Seems like last time I did not check it. Andy, please, Multiverse X. Okay, let's check Monero first here for uh, short from 44,300. Well, that is a, yeah, that was a beautiful short entry right there, no doubt. Very, very fast, of course. Very, very fast. This is if you are in front of the chart and you know that that is a CVD target. And uh, it's, a, it's a quick swing failure pattern, quick short position right there. Maybe even possibly to claim these lows right over here. You know, and that is already over a thousand dollar move down. So this was actually a pretty, pretty good short position. 
Um, let's go right away and take a look at this crypto, Monero, which is, what's the ticker symbol for Monero? I can't remember. Long time, long time from Monero. XMR. XMR. Let's take a look at Monero right away and analyze the situation here for Monero. On the daily time frame, we've got some old levels here from 2021. Monero has been uh, a crypto that hasn't been performing too well, to be honest, here the last few months. It's just, uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit in an uptrend, but to be honest, it hasn't been the best performer. Um, you're in kind of still higher low structure right over here. So difficult situation here with Monero. Let's take a look at the VPVR here. I mean, this peak high was maintaining very nicely as support, right? This is the highs here from 2019 from that major consolidation, that major reaccumulation, and it just maintained our support very nicely here as the low of the bear market. It's a, it's a lagging cryptocurrency, you know? I know it's uh, the privacy crypto, it's one of the privacy cryptocurrencies, and I just don't see this one in a major uptrend, a major downtrend. It's still kind of sideways. There's really no clear trend here. It is no doubt creating higher lows, but it's testing highs, getting rejected, testing lows, getting a pump, you know, slowly to the upside, no doubt. But it's not really, you know, there's not much really to say on Monero. It's really, really kind of flat during the last, you know, 18 months, it's still kind of in a big range. There's, there's really no nothing clear here for Monero. Of course, you have been in a small little uptrend here, so you could arguably discuss that this is going to create another higher low right there, as it has been doing for the last 18 months, right? Very, very uh, difficult here to say on Monero. I mean, if Monero does manage after this major drop, because this drop only happened the last few days, right? Bit of volatility, a bit of a drop. If Monero does manage to consolidate at this range, at the higher low support, right? It's very likely going to get that bounce, right? Just following here this major small little uptrend. Uh, but right now, the volatility is quite strong to the downside just in the last couple of days. And you would want to see that consolidation right there right to basically follow this this kind of uptrend that we're having here slowly um not really much here to add to monero it's, it's pretty flat much better bitcoin market crash too um quick pump and dump we've had no doubt we've had a quick pump and dump here on bitcoin of uh, several hundred dollars hi andy been doing my one percent for the last three months making great great dollars pnl has been up very excited for this year thanks for all the hard work you do hey kulin thank you very much for that those kind words making your one percent of your portfolio that's absolutely wonderful yeah we talk about that you know trying to make one percent profit per day you know it's a kind of achievable goal when you're trading Make 1% per day, you know, an average of 5% per week. Uh, and, you know, you should be scaling up very, very nicely. Uh, a lot of people want to make 20% a week or 30% of, you know, make a lot of gains, but then you're risking too much. So thank you very much for the kind words. Yeah, risk management and how to scale up a portfolio has been very much part of the education from this channel. So, you know, slow, consistent profits, uh, you know, not looking for that big, nice, good trade. Uh, because a lot of people end up getting wrecked, right? Small little consistent profits, you know, is what's going to make you those gains at the end of the month, right? So it's been a very much my goal to to educate uh, that way with how, you know, how much you need to risk when, you, when you're doing your trading. Privacy coins are delisting from centralized exchanges. Yes, I guess so. I guess um, privacy coins is really not much of a of an issue uh, much of a much of a thing right really not right now i make a thousand percent per day yeah good one 
XRP, please. Oh, no. Uh, just in. Bitcoin ETF application uh, applicants clear key hurdle on path to sex sign off. Bloomberg re reports. Yes. Okay. Thanks for that. Uh, but XRP, shall we take a look at XRP? It's been a long time since I haven't checked out XRP. It has to be one of the most horrible coins to do uh, technical analysis. Uh, really do not enjoy XRP, especially during the last one to two years where it's been um, highly attached to um, the Security Exchange Commission, basically, to see if it is a security or not. Yes, no, you know, and it's just had be have been having some very very nasty pump and dumps right it is not reliable on the chart it is for me it is not a reliable crypto to do technical analysis and take some trading decisions because you know it has been highly affected by the sec and you know you got this massive pump and dump for example that happened here in the summer of 2023 you got this nice rally coming straight back down nevertheless it is in a small little uptrend here during the last 12 months but what can I say? You're maintaining, you're getting, you know, really nice. You've got a really nice instant bounce from this consolidation. So when you do take a look at, you know, this fixed range that you've been consolidating, right? This is how you would want to do your analysis. Um, but look at this, right? If you think this is going to get a pullback and create a higher low, then you, you're very much mistaken, right? This was a driven, you know, news driven price action to the upside and straight back down. Now, this is quite technical move, you know, a little bit of a, of a flash crash here during uh, the last few days. And you know that you have a big major consolidation right there. So exactly that point of control is what has maintained from this consolidation back in August, September and October is what has maintained that quick little bounce, right? You've got a high volume node from this consolidation and you are creating, you know, basically some higher lows right there. So it was a nice scalp day trade attempt right a bit a bit aggressive because you never know how far this wick can go you know very very difficult to trade the the volatile movements here because you never know how, how far you can go i much prefer range trading much prefer range trading you know you never you're really not going to see me trading any any volatile moves uh, i'm probably in, unless I'm, I'm in a trade already but the trading setups that I take are is when we do have nice, slow, you know, little consolidation movements. Um, right. XLM still looks good, but very weak to Bitcoin, says Yoan. Matic, please. ARB, please. Wow. A lot of a um, lot of cryptos here. Let's take a look at um, Matic, for example. Matic did, you know, get a relatively nice move here to the upside um but had a pretty instant corrective move let me take a look at matic here probably on coinbase yeah where well, we had this symmetrical triangle i actually longed this symmetrical triangle and did take some profits on the rejection and then got stopped out on the rest of the position this was a this was actually mentioned on a live stream where we we're talking about a possible breakout on matic here from this symmetrical triangle Overall, it did get a pretty decent collapse here on the second, on the third of January. Sorry, when when Bitcoin got the the drop, it did get affected. Didn't get much of a bounce. So, the thing about Matic here, the thing about Matic here, you know, and I, I would arguably say that we would want to get the fixed range here from the consolidation in between the summer of 2023, right? It's still kind of a huge double bottom. It's kind of a huge double bottom still. It got the symmetrical triangle. You did get the breakout, but it got affected by, you know, the drop on Bitcoin. And very hard to say here on, on Matic. You know what would be the ideal scenario here for a, a possible trading setup? Would be actually claiming that low right over here. And it, it's probably not, or at least the more internal low here created during the last few days. If you do create that double bottom scenario, test the lows right there, you know, and then get a recovery, that would actually be a very much an acceptable long position. But I think you would just have to set your alerts. You are maintaining higher low structure right there, higher low support, and you could get that wick to the downside and then recover from this low. And then you would be targeting here for the lower high resistance and these highs to be claimed again. 
So you've got a, a, a nice trading setup here on Matic, basically claiming that low, the wick, okay, right over here. That would be actually a pretty interesting setup where you claim the lows and then you claim the local highs, which is right over here. So you've got a really nice setup right there. Of, and that would be a move of over 10%. Uh, with a little bit of leverage that's what i do see here on matic i mean big pump big dump back inside of this range and when you analyze this range on the fixed volume profile yeah i mean it it, it makes sense for that for this range to actually hold very nicely so you can see the point of control from this range and the value area low, which is also kind of in confluence with higher low support. You know, if you come and wick down here, get that recovery, it could be a really nice swing failure pattern and then you're looking for another test of the highs, right? Value area high, these highs right over here. It's a really nice setup right there. Really, really nice setup. So I would be remaining patient here, set some alerts at this zone. It's very much a, a, a very good trading setup based on maintaining higher low support structure. You've got the point of control and value area low at this range that should maintain our support. Getting into a long position at this level, you could arguably discuss that if that low is taken, you could also be prepared for a swing failure pattern from this low. Remember, the market goes and claims liquidity from highs and lows, and a claim of liquidity beneath this low could turn out into a very strong bounce, right? Of course, would I set some alerts right there, or would I put some limit orders because I might be slippy, sleeping? You know, if you are going to get into any, you know, limit orders, just, I think... It's just very hard because you just don't know how far that wick can go. So you might get into a limit order here and you're putting, I'm going to put stop loss here. I think that's enough, right? And then you wake up in the morning, your limit got filled, you got stopped out, and then the price, you know, got the recovery. And you're like, well, I, I placed a limit order, I placed a stop loss, you know, and it's, it's just not a lot of the times they don't work out and if you don't put stop loss then you never know how far that drop can go but best thing here is to set some alerts in my opinion at this range just to check if you are going to get a major wick down to claim this low or just claim this low and probably get a bounce at the point of control and then if you do this price action you know that that is bullish you've claimed the lows you have filled the wick you're likely going to come up to, to get to the, you know, fill that, you know, go to the value area high, basically, and test the next highs, right? So that, that would be a kind of a trading plan here for Matic. Now, you know the deal. Remember, Matic can be traded on Bybit. It can be traded on Mexi as well. Bybit for me is the number one. I know there's a lot of restrictions out there, but, you know, it's the most solid crypto exchange for trading, in my personal opinion. Uh, I've been using it for over four years. If you cannot trade on Bybit, then I would suggest Mexi or either Bing X. Okay, you also got them down below in the description. Great bonuses on Mexi and also on Bing X where you can trade stocks using crypto. Um, but my favorite one is Bybit. There has been some FUD from other exchange, you know, from different exchanges. For the moment, it's only FUD, a little bit of not great service, support service. It is what it is, you know, they're, they're, not, they're not perfect. You know, for me, if you ask me which is the perfect exchange where you are gonna, you're not going to have any problems at all, that would be Bybit, guys, okay? It's very important for me for you to trade on, on the best exchanges out there. And um, for me, Bybit is by far the number one. Uh, super chatos hermanos, Mark Dutch, thank you very much, brother, for letting me know. Let's go right away. Uh, so show your appreciation for the amazing TA, Mark Dutch says. Thank you very much. I got some fudder in the comment section just at the beginning of the stream, you know. I'm, I'm you know, it makes me angry. Someone in to come in here and say, you know, this this dude is, is, is a clown, you know. Get lost. Go in and go and hate on somebody else. Because I will come, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. Going to keep calm. Um, can we check about? Uh, can we check about Avax, brother Jamie? Absolutely. Let's take a look at Avax for you, and let's um, 
Do a point of view, see if we can find another setup just like Matic, okay? Just like Matic. I mean, Matic looks really nice. I really like this zone, guys. You know, it was test these lows or test these lows. It will bring very likely a significant bounce. Of course, you need to recover above that level to take the decision, uh, right? It just looks very, very good. Very, very good. Very, very solid support here on Matic in between 75 and 80 cent level. Should hold very, very nicely if we were to fill the entire wick, okay, from the drop. So let's go right away here and take a look here for, um, take a look at AVAX here for my brother. In the comment section, AVAX. What do we got here with AVAX? Yeah, AVAX, it's it's taking the pullback. It's it's getting a pretty decent pullback. Overall, it's a, it's 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 natural to get a nice pullback like this because we have been rallying like crazy. We did talk about this in November, right? The descending wedge, you know, L1, strong L1, Solana, Avalanche, ADA are, are going to get the pop, right? They're, they're the first ones to follow through after Bitcoin. And... Um, got a significant rally here and you know just checking out here any reasons why we did stop here at this level I mean if you do take a look at Fibonacci I mean what 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 can let us know why did we stop exactly at this zone um, we, we'll do some more internal okay because no doubt we are in the pullback got above 382 from this level i mean there's really not much fib here to to take a look at it just had to have the pullback it was getting a bit choppy here on the lower time frames very very choppy price action and just getting the pullback so anyway let's do some more internal technical analysis because you know let's talk about the possible levels where we could long or where we could short um no doubt Let's take a look here at this range a little bit. You might think that this this is this was a little bit of a head and shoulder structure, not the most beautiful one, but you can see this base right over here, right? You have you had a kind of a base that was getting a lot of volatility here on on Avax, right? Where you had this move up right there. You know, you got a solid base there, price stopping, you got this price action, price stopping here, movement up and then kind of a breakdown and retest of this neckline now the question is is this a successful breakdown for the price actually to continue to the downside could have had some speculation in, in getting into a short position here as you were consolidating at this range right so mm, yeah vpvr is not going to give us much of anything right now let's um take a look at the range yeah, you're kind of holding value area low of this entire trading range. Trying to think here for a possible setup. I mean, it, it, it's not looking too great, to be honest. Could have been a speculation short right there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hang on a second, guys. My mouse ain't doing. I've got. I must have a half a dozen of these mouses that go with USB, uh, duh, 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 and they just don't work very well. I mean, the thing is about this is. Hang on a second, guys. I got my mouse doing crazy things. I probably have to change my mouse. There we go. It's working now. You think about this base here on Avalanche at $38, you know, where we did get that resistant zone. Valley area low just holding here with this wick now currently just holding by a thread, you know, getting a consolidation on lower time frames. It ain't looking that great, to be honest. It ain't looking that great for a long based on this head and shoulder kind of pattern right there, right? And you could be looking for continuation to the downside. You got a bigger, a bit of a volume spike right there. A bit difficult here to take a look at a, a possible good trading setup. 
Mm, 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 mm. You got a nice order block right over here that if were if it were to be filled, say you that you do break down and you continue the corrective move. You know, your question might be, where is there a good place to, to get into a long position or a short position? And that is what we're trying to find out here to get into a trading plan. So, uh, I mean, from this consolidation here, I'll go through the super chats right away, guys. Give us a second. Uh, because, yeah, the, I want to do proper, try and do, uh, well, proper basic analysis. But it does take some time to figure out, you know, where could there be a great um, trading plan, right? We, you know, trading is all about about making plans, right? Looking at levels, setting some alerts and be ready to take that decision. Um, when we do take a look at this consolidation right there and you do get this major rally that we've had during, during you know, December. You are pulling down right now. You're forming very, very choppy, you know, head and shoulder structure breaking down. You could go to lower levels. So the question is, where could the price bounce, right? So if I do place my fib from the consolidation, this is the start of the pump, and I take a look at this 618 Fibonacci, it is just sitting beneath this consolidation right there. So there is a possibility that you could create, you know, a movement down to claim these higher lows right there, hit the 618, and then get a pretty decent recovery bounce. Uh, you you need to you know it, it would be kind of a day trade setup i wouldn't say long here you know take profits as a swing trade all the way up here to new highs no it's it's if you do still break down here then you you're probably just going to get a quick instant bounce and follow the downtrend right and maybe m move lower but no doubt it's a bouncing level i like it right there this is exactly the 31 dollar 35 cents where you have the 618 from the start of the pump, right? Which are these lows to these highs. And you got that higher low to be filled, that order block, and just get the instant bounce. Of course, this bounce over here, I wouldn't take it as a, I would just take it as a scalp swing trade. Because the bounce might just be, you know, 10%, which is still very much, very, you know, it's a significant amount if you're using a little bit of leverage. It's a bouncing level, you, and with the bounce, you just have to be defensive and look to take profit at the resistance zone, which would probably be these, you know, this low over here, this wick over here. You know, you're gonna have to check out VWAP as well. You know, VWAP likely gonna start, skate, you know, moving to the downside. Um, and I would just be eyeing VWAP here if you do get that bounce, because you are in a downtrend and you just wanna take profit at the next, you know, lower high possibility. Anyway, that's a nice level here for a quick little long where I would be putting some, I would be putting some limit, you know, some not limit orders, sorry, some alerts. And if it does go to the upside, you know, if it does manage right now, this being a unsuccessful breakdown as it was just basically kind of a, a massive flush, okay, of long of longs basically. If you were to get a nice move here to the upside, of course, no doubt you do have the point of control sitting at $40. If you were to get that movement up here, it would be a sign of strength. However, mm, you know, for me, you would have to break. You would have to move above point of control. This would not be enough for me to be bullish. You would have to break through here this range you're probably looking for a you're probably looking for a quick little short here actually for longing it's going to be complicated you're just going to have to leave the price action do its thing but this no doubt is a quick short position of course if you do come up all the way up to this lower high which is in confluence with the valley area high of this range no doubt that that's a really nice level for a quick short scalp day trade it's with the 618 fibonacci as well from the highs to the lows right so we're getting a bit of confluence right there on avalanche where you got pivot high to the pivot low created the last couple of days 618 fibonacci is sitting with the valley area high of this range of the last few weeks and you got a clear lower high for a liquidity grab so you would look for that level to be claimed and a pretty decent pullback 
note that you have a point of control right there where you could get that reaction. Reaction is happening, then that would be obviously your take profit zone. So very, very technical move. You claim that level, get rejection, jump into the short, manage risk very well. You're looking for that pretty decent pullback at least to point of control, right? If you were to get a significant rally. Just a bit of some trading ideas, guys, here, right? Because at the end of the day, if you ask me, you know, I don't, I don't know if the price, obviously, is going to go down here or is it going to go up here. However, we do know certain levels where the price can get some reactions and we can get into some setups with good risk management, right? So that's a little bit of here what, what I do think about Avalanche. I mean, no doubt that this will be looking quite bullish, breaking, you know, the downtrend. However, obviously, price moves in waves, so you could get that rejection. You, we're just going to have to see this reaction here at this zone, you know, point of control, getting a reaction. That could probably be a nice long setup as you will be starting to break downtrend structure and creating higher lows right there. So obviously consolidation, small little double bottoms, right, on the one minute time frame, three minute, you know, that is the moment to, to take a possible informed decision to see if the price is going to rally again. Um, so that's a bit of my take here on Avalanche. Um, let's take a look at uh, what else. I've got some super chats here. Let me just go through the super chats. But before, I want to give a shout out, okay, to the K app, guys. If you haven't heard about the K app, it is absolutely amazing. They are going to be the leaders in quick crypto and not only crypto, but also euros, dollars, payments, okay? The good thing about the K app, you can send euros for free and instant it is extremely simple they even have a iban right now okay for any uh, people in the eu you have okay your own iban here you can actually get your salary here in euros and you have your own iban you can pay your bills this is absolutely wonderful i have a few things that i need to sell here in uh in spain and um, I'm actually, instead of putting it in my bank account, you know, I'm going to put it here on, on K app because it's going to be so easy just to transfer euros, swap it into crypto. It's so easy. You've got your swap here to convert. You can swap your euros into Bitcoin, into Ethereum, into Tether if you wish. And you have free transactions from the same crypto. OK, so you're sending, you know, Ethereum to Ethereum. It's totally free. You're sending euro to euro. It's totally free as well. Bitcoin to Bitcoin, totally free. Extremely simple to use, okay? This is made to be easy for people that are new to crypto. You have your portfolio, you have cash here where you have your own iBurn if you wanna do a bank transfer and you can go and convert easily your cryptocurrency. And of course, you can send, withdraw, deposit, okay? Very easily here with also people that have, you know, the K app, all right? You have your own um, you know your own your own tag here as you can see and you can send it to a friend here that has the k app super simple to get into guys they have the debit card coming out very very soon as well there's a lot of regulation behind this so it does take some time and uh, they are doing things very very well so if you want to sign up to the k app guys you have the fourth link down below in the description read it through because it is definitely revolutionary and, it's, and they're making crypto payments extremely easy for the people, which is definitely a struggle nowadays, right? Um, because crypto ain't easy. A lot of people don't understand crypto, don't understand how to buy it, how to sell it, where to store it, where to, you know, and, you know, the K app makes it extremely, extremely easy. Let's go right away through the uh, next super chats here. Sorry about that. Lagging here with the super chats, but, you know, I'm doing my best. I'm not a machine. I am human. Gala top price prediction for 2024 and 2025. Any thoughts? Let's go through that right away. Gala, no doubt, is one of the top gaming crypto projects. There's no doubt about it. And gaming is, is huge in general, not only crypto gaming. Gaming is huge. When you do take a look at the chart from gaming of the last 20 to 30 years, it's huge. And also the industry is growing and growing. You see the chart of gaming, you know, and it's just like that. It's consistent uptrend. And 
a lot of people are interested there you know i think it's over 400 billion dollars right now valued in in crypto gaming uh no in gaming in general sorry and crypto and gaming can definitely get along together very very well so gala is one of the top crypto gaming projects um got a significant rally during the last few months getting a little bit of a pullback so when we do take a look at gala here on the higher time frames and analyze the situation i mean look at this i mean gala all-time high at 85 cents 85 cents here gala at all-time high the the ultimate question will gala reach all-time high in the next bull run well you know it, it's gonna be <clears throat> you know we're just gonna have to see how that pump is moving through right a lot of the a lot of cryptos did not reach the all-time high from 2017 it happens will this one manage to do so well it really all depends on what is their roadmap for 2024 and 25 what are they developing what partnerships have, do they have what kind of marketing do they have right are you going to see gala you know uh, announced on on many places it really has to do on on how much you know how are the, how is the team going to develop not right not only from the charts no doubt looking at the charts you know this is great levels for accumulation no doubt this is great zone for accumulation you know if you were to come back down to close the one cent level you know that's even going to be even better i'm not too sure if we are even going to hit those you know that one cent zone again you know will we main will we get to the 1.5 cent again i mean that would be a almost a 50 percent correction from these levels I, I, I'm just going to say that would be an incredibly good buying zone. Gala is one of the best crypto gaming projects. All-time high, you know, what is the what is going to be the all-time high for Gala in the next bull run? That is your question for 24-25. It has a possibility to hit all-time high, okay? But I would say that if it does even manage to hit, you know, the 618 Fibonacci from the all-time high to the low, you know, that's already going to be... Um, it is already going to be a 15x from current levels. I'm, I would be happy with a 15x. These cryptos, you know, are unlikely. These large cap cryptocurrencies such as Gala, they are unlikely to make a 100x, okay? It's just realistic, guys. We need to stay realistic here. It's an 800 million. No doubt it can go to t over 10 billion. But I would say peak market cap would be in between 10 10 20 billion approximately i wouldn't give it much more than that and let's take a look at the market cap on the previous cycle um yeah so it did reach 5 billion uh you could easily say the 10 billion market cap is definitely a possibility here for gala um i'm not sure how many tokens they have released i, I, I don't follow very much the the project but it's you know i would say an easy 10x at least to around about 50 cents and be happy with that be happy with a 50 cent when you do take a look at a lot of the cryptos from the previous cycles a lot of them just don't manage to to reach all-time high right they, they just don't manage the explosion just does not manage to reach all-time high and then starts topping out um, so a lot of people will not sell in this bull market that is coming you know a lot of projects will not reach all-time high i'm sorry to say that but it, it is a reality it happened in the previous cycle and you just need to be aware of that okay and a lot of them just tap all-time high and then get the rejection so if it does hit all-time high you know be prepared to actually take profits that would be just almost hitting the one dollar right if it does manage to get above the 85 cents you know you know you want to take profits it, it happened on many cryptos where you just tap the all-time high right such as zilliqa right you hit all-time high from the previous cycle in 2017 bang that was the market cycle top right what else you know there's just so many other ones right digibyte is the one that i you know comes to my head right now um where do we have digibyte right there same thing look at this this one did extend a bit more from the highs 
but people think that it's going to exponentially grow for a much more and you just hit the highs bang 2017 highs 2021 highs you know and like i said you know i would be very much happy on the next crypto if it does get close to the all-time highs you know just be ha be ready to start unlocking some of the profits because you know you ain't gonna have time waiting if you wait too long you ain't gonna have time you're just gonna get you're just gonna wake up you know one morning right or, or just in one two weeks and you, you're basically waiting for the recovery and yeah there's no recovery happening so be ready once volatility comes to the upside to start thinking to start unloading right 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent hit highs reject you know take another 10 percent 20 percent it's all about unloading you ain't gonna buy the ultimate low you ain't gonna sell the ultimate high it's um so then that's that's the plan that you need to have you get close to all-time high be ready to to start unloading um right let's take a look here at the next super chat right away space duck how are you doing my man thanks for joining hello legend could you have a look at tia us dollar celestia thanks yes absolutely um tia 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 celestia um this one has been doing pretty good right yeah already over two billion market cap yeah this one is yeah, on the move this one's on the move Yeah, epic, epic technical analysis here. Extremely technical. Extremely technical. I mean, look at this. As long as we stay above these highs, we have some more upside potential, right? We are bouncing from that level. So look at this. You mean, you got a big range of support and resistance. What you're looking for, you're either looking for a fake out or a breakout. You get a massive fake out right there. Right, this just happened as well on the third. This is a long in trade right there because you're faking out. You're coming back inside of the range and you're looking for the highs to be taken. You would have been taking profit already before the breakout. And what has happened here is that you've actually broken out. Okay, and this is during, during yesterday and today. And just another range, same scenario right over here. It ain't looking too great at the moment with this double top locally, okay? So it tested yesterday's high, not managing to break through. So what is happening right now, right? Just, just so you know how you would want to trade this. If you ask me for price predictions or upside potential, I mean, I think this one was not here in the in the previous cycle so it's a relatively new crypto from 2023 it's been in an epic uptrend and you might think hey how far this can you know how far up can this go well it's in a very nice local uptrend so so far so good so far so good um i'm more of a range trader so if we do take a look at this inside of the range i will explain you know where the levels where we could bounce or we could reject in a simple way um and that is obviously you know in this new little new little range could this be a kind of a bull flag absolutely you're just kind of testing the highs testing the lows there is what you know for me it would be pretty simple here you test this low right there from the range and you unsuccessfully break down and you get back above, you're looking for the highs to be claimed again. If you do set some alerts right there and you get the price moving down, your alerts, your, your alerts, you know, on your phone, okay, on TradingView, you can put it on your email, on your, you know, for them to send a text, you get the deal, right? You can, you can do the configuration right there, add alert, and here in settings, you can do it on your phone, on your email, you know, any way you want. So for me, the strategy here would be pretty simple. I would set some alerts right there. And, you know, if you fail to break down from these lows, which was actually resistance, all right, during the last few days, it's very likely possibly going to be tested and get back up. The moment you get back above this level, it's, it's a possible long trigger with your stop loss beneath the low, right? To see if the price is going to actually come back up and claim those highs. 
Will it break through or not? Well, it's a, a matter of, of, of seeing if that is a possibility. This was an acceptable short position right there. This was an acceptable short right there. So you claim the highs, get back beneath. You know that you're getting rejected and you're aiming for the lows, basically. So you could have already been thinking about taking some profits right there. Uh, obviously being defensive with your stop loss. So it's the same thing. Trade the range until you break it, right? And this range, will it break down or break up? I don't know what I do know if, if it fakes down, I can get into a long because the, the breakdown has been unsuccessful and you're looking for that recovery to test the highs. If the highs are is, is going to make an unsuccessful break up, you know that you can short that level back down to the lows, right? So you're trading the range and of course the range will be broken at some point. But as you reject from them, then you can get into those setups and just trade the range. Um, so far, so good. Anyway, on Celestia, on the higher time frame, it does look pretty solid. It's in an epic uptrend. Um, I have, haven't done any research on this blockchain project, but it seems like it's doing pretty well. Uh, just launched in 2023 by the looks of things, and it's, it's, it's doing very, very well. So it's in a solid uptrend. You would arguably discuss that this uptrend is possibly going to continue. Um, if we do break down from these highs, I would not be too worried. Uh, it would still be looking quite solid with higher lows right there. You're probably going to bounce. You know, we're taking a look at the fixed range here from this point to this area. Um, yeah, you could just break down and, and probably get supported here from valley area high of this of this trading range. Uh, you're just going to have to check the reaction here to see if you form a little small little range and create a double bottom scenario and then come up. Uh, but anyway, this is just speculation. You would have to cross that bridge once you once you get there. I'm curious to see if you can actually trade Tia on Bybit. It can be traded. You can trade Tia on Bybit. Yes, yes, yes. Remember, you do that, get that great bonus. Right now, we do have with the link a 20% fee cut because I spoke to the team and I said, you know, a lot of people are talking about the fees. The fees are too much. People that are very defensive like myself and get stopped out at break even, you know, they don't want to pay 10, 20, 50 dollars uh, because of their, you know, because of their stop loss near break even, right? So you got a 20% fee discount if you sign up with the link down below on Bybit, guys. Apart from that incredible bonus that they have got here now for the last few months. Um, let's continue right away. It's another way to support the channel, of course. It is an affiliate link, guys, all right? If you want to still continue seeing me here. Only 20% of the views like the stream. Yeah, this is, yeah. It, I don't know. Only four likes. Come on, guys. You know, 600 people watching. We only got four likes. What's going on? I know there's more likes than that. But um, yeah, guys, smash up that like button. Uh, what about Reef? Well, Reef, we can take a look at Reef. Reef got a, a major pullback. I, did, I, I do have some spot Reef, actually. Um, not much. Well, this is not it. Yeah, Reef got a big major pullback. You know, it looked pretty solid. It looked pretty good. We were analyzing Reef to see if it was going to get a massive move here to the upside based on the double bottom. But this one, this one did collapse pretty strongly. I actually didn't, I didn't see Reef here now for the last couple of days. And we broke out from the symmetrical triangle. We maintained a little bounce right there, but it definitely got affected by the, by the drop from the 3rd of, of January. So uh, we did get into some longs. We enjoyed the longs. A bit of a reaction. I did take some profit uh, on on the on the uh, on the um, on the trade. I do actually hold a small small amount of um, reef that I buy it on spot. It's in my wallet somewhere. Um, but this is holding for the long term. It's a very much an interesting project, but definitely got a pretty decent deep pullback here. You know, breaking down here is ain't looking too great. It did get a big major corrective move from that level of, of resistance. There was a lot of double bottoms that did just did not did not cope with the pump, guys. You know, this is something that we were mentioning as in some of them will not succeed with a massive hype pump. Some of them will, some of them won't. 
uh, if Bitcoin does get a pullback of several thousand dollars, which was the case here on the 3rd of January, just a few days ago, this was a $5,000 drop. And many altcoins will get that deep pullback and won't get a recovery. Um, some of them bounced really nicely, such as Arbitrum. Some of them just got the hit and is continuing to the downside. So this was the danger about the altcoins, right? Some altcoins that do look bullish, that do look like they're going to have more momentum to the upside. And then you get this bad boy right over here on Bitcoin. And I'm just aware, of course, making people aware of Bitcoin drops several thousand dollars altcoins will drop even further a lot of them a lot of them will get a quick instant bounce some of them did some of them didn't just like the case of reef right a lot of them are still at the lows of this major pullback just like matic as well matic hasn't recovered that nicely from the major drop right and reef is also one of them so yeah it's probably going to end up in a in a little bit of a sideways action here still for the next coming weeks and even months okay till the, till the bull run kicks off probably get an instant recovery right there but i don't i see it actually being a little bit you know we've had an excellent rally here during october november december you know give or take give it a one two month of of consolidation till it starts finding a bottom and starts rallying again okay still too soon to say you know the moment you start doing this kind of you know sideways momentum to the downside then that obviously is going to be the moment that it's going to be looking quite bullish uh, right a kind of a descending wedge kind of structure or descending channel sideways momentum the lows not being too deep the moment the lows are not really deep just like this breakdown right these movements are deep the moments the move the, the moment the movements are not getting deep and they're just tapping the low slightly that is the moment it's going to be very very bullish for the price to to get the rise for the moment reef has failed uh, reef is delisting from binance as well yeah i'm not following too much the fundamental but yeah delisting from binance well that was definitely a a big hit uh we don't we do not want um tokens being delisted from binance right that's kind of a that's kind of a bad news what you think uh, of for rune rune is an incredible project leader of interoperability so basically you know moving different tokens from different blockchain projects i think this one was the actual number one uh crypto project in interoperability and this one was one of the first ones that got an insane rally during you know you can see it right over here since september this one had an epic epic pump during october and november of 400 percent in a matter of a couple of months so it did over a 4x and yeah right now this kind of symmetrical triangle is looking to break to the downside so a bit of a head and shoulder structure right there so it's a bit toppy no doubt it is a bit toppy just like this you know when i do see this you know it kind of reminds me of this right you're forming those small little houses right you're forming those small little houses right head and shoulder scenario it's it's a it's a little bit at a peaky moment at the unfortunately but it's a very bullish project it's the leading crypto project in interoperability uh, which i think is you know there's not many out there uh, with a you know it, it, it actually works it's proven to be working um right now just a bit of a head and shoulder scenario it could it could it be a fake out from the lows it got the wick could it been a fake out here from these lows possibly you are you you know you kind of still at the range but it, you know the price action ain't looking that great to be honest i would be much happier with a bit more of a pullback if bitcoin were to get that pullback after hitting 46k or 48k or maybe not you know, there's no doubt there's going to be a much stronger pullback on Bitcoin coming at some point after ETF, you know, or whatever approved or not approved. You know, Bitcoin will get a pullback, possibly going to 38K maybe. Um, you know, we just don't really know. But that 
the levels, but the pullback is coming for Bitcoin. A much stronger pullback. This was just a little, this was just a little, a little ride, right? A little bit of a taste, a little bit of a taste of what could happen. Uh, I think, you know, we'll, we'll be seeing much deeper pullbacks than this. This was just a little bit of a flash crash. Um, but this is just a little taste of what could happen, right? In the next coming weeks at some point. And no doubt that we will get much better opportunities on a lot of the altcoins, okay? So this is really not a moment to to FOMO on a lot of altcoins. I think the next coming months will bring us great opportunities to get into some really good projects, such as Rune. I think Rune is is definitely one that is, is good to have in the portfolio. I don't have any, but I really considered a long time ago to have some reef on my port some reef some rune in my portfolio but you just can't have them all i have over 20 tokens right now in my portfolio i only usually had about 10 12 i've extended it to 20 right now and i already feel it's too much right there's a lot of things that i would like to buy but you just can't have them all um <laughs> sam bankman stole my crypto wow really sorry to hear that you know a lot of people got affected by the ftx collapse really sorry to hear that never keep your crypto on an exchange okay so you know the deal can we get 350 likes for andy mark dutch is saying yes sir i'm sure we can smash up that like button guys on your way in on your way out much appreciated um let's go right away um continue btc live pump are we pumping then? Yeah, I got a quick rejection here from that um, from that pump we had at the beginning of the live stream. The thing is, what is happening right now, it is kind of at a squeezed range, right? Where you do have the value area high, you have the point of control. You know, it's getting a bit squeezed here after the, the V-shaped recovery that we had, right? So it's getting a bit in a in a squeezed little zone right there in between valley area high, point of control, you know, and it, it, it will get a volatile move, no doubt, in the next 24 hours. Once you start finishing this, 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 this kind of squeezed level where you have lower highs and, and higher lows, right? It, it's just likely going to have to take a decision, whether it's a move up, fake out and down or fake move down, then up or successful move up, successful move down. Um, we're gonna see some some volatility, no doubt, probably during the weekend. Um, so yeah, Celsius is supposed to pay out in the coming months. Yes, my brother was actually affected also by Celsius. He did have, um, he had a, a few thousand dollars there. And um, yeah, Celsius, what else? Um, what, what's the other, it was another lending one. Um, BlockFi, was it BlockFi? Yeah, BlockFi also collapsed. You know, it was terrible. It was terrible. We had a many, many large, you know, companies, exchanges, lending platforms that were collapsing all very, very, you know, in the same period of time, right? Give or take a couple of months. But we had BlockFi collapsing. We had Celsius. We had FTX. So, um, yeah, thanks for the stream. Andy says, Stefan, you're very much welcome, my man. What's up, Devolt? I'm going to, I'm just about to wrap it up. It's 11 o'clock here. I was bored. I was reading a book and I thought, you know what? I'm going to go on a live stream. So I just thought, go on a live stream, read here, you know, most of the, the comments that I can, not most of them. I do try and read most of the comments um, because I'm overall here to, to help with any questions, do some, you know, basic analysis, give a little bit of my thoughts. And um, I just thought I would go live. Why not? To see my beautiful community. Um, 1K votes. Let's take a look at that. 1K votes on the poll. 1,000 votes on the poll. Are you bullish on Bitcoin for the coming weeks? We have 65% of people saying yes, they are bullish. I would still stick bullish till the ETF is approved, right? Until the ETF is approved, I am bullish because it's a, it's a possible sell the news event, right? And as you know, right, a lot of people have in the back of their mind, the back of their head saying, 
you know there's there's going to be a spot bitcoin etf it's going to get you know if it is approved the price might rocket you know let's buy some bitcoin right so overall i think till it's approved the price is bullish because it's just pure by the rumor it's still by the rumor right guys um too much ta based on us dollar pair went up 2.5x 2. 2. in 2023 any altcoin increase less than that lost value okay yes good point there thanks for the live stream better than a book <laughs> yes <laughs> guys thank you very much for joining the stream okay it was just a bit of a chilled one um not much to analyze here on bitcoin we do have the bump and run scenario um you know what dxy was interesting today because dxy got a an attempt of a breakout here and failed to do so from a major level and this this rejection right there is actually quite good at least for the weekend um, because you had the rise here the last few days and this was exactly this rise happened as we got the the crash on bitcoin on the 3rd of january so the the major flash crash right so had a bit of a double top right there at this crucial level of resistance, lower high resistance uh, trend line, support flipping into resistance. You know, this could actually make the DXY get a little bit of a pullback, you know, by Monday, Tuesday, possibly, which will actually help Bitcoin to get another leg here to the upside. Not much more to be said, guys. Weekend coming up. Make sure to enjoy with friends, family. I will be doing a live stream at some point tomorrow just to analyze the situation. Um, I do expect volatility, actually. I think volatility could happen during the weekend. Very, very much possible, uh, just based on where we're at here on the chart. You know, I think it's uh, it's been quite rangy for the last few days. So I do think that we could see some volatility at the end of this higher low, lower high um, resistance in the next, you know, 24 hours, possibly get a bit of volatility move up or down. Um, Thank you very much, everybody. Trade safe, right? We, we do not know where the price is going to go. We know certain levels where we could bounce as support or reject as resistance. I have no clue if we're going to go to 46K or to 40K. However, we do know levels how to reject, you know, get into trades, manage risk. So stay safe with your trading, guys. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you, moderators. Mark Dutch, Seb Seb, Father Time, Devault. I will see you tomorrow.